Bugs Brown. So Henry Bugs Brown was born into slavery in the 19th century Virginia on a plantation called Hermitage. It was located in Louisiana Louis County. At the age of 15, he stay, started working in a tobacco factory in Richmond. Even though he had it better than some, some since his master paid him, his master has actually also paid him overtime and stuff, so he wasn't very badly off during those times. And allowing him, him to have a wife and children with a slave from different plantation. They actually also lived together as long as Henry paid the to his wife's slave owner, they could live together. She was pregnant with his poor child when she and her children got sold off to a plantation in North Carolina. Henry was actually watching a lot of slaves just walk away and he just cried and sang during this time. Henry was heartbroken after the sale of his family. He decided to escape. His escape was carefully planned and with the help of James C. Smith, they executed the escape. He actually paid half of all the money he ever owned to this person so he could escape. Henry was shipped out in a box that was about 3 by 2 feet and man managed to get to Philadelphia, even though he managed to arrive there in one piece heading out the intense journey. Henry's journey was very intense, even though James wrote on the box which way the box should be kept up, uh, people still banged it around and at, at some point during his journey he was upside down and he almost died. But these people came and flipped the box around to just sit on it. So that's kind of what helped him out during this, his journey. Henry Bugs became a well-known speaker for the anti-slavery society and he made he even met Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass was an abolitionist during this time. Him and James C. A. Smith wrote his autobiography and narrative of the life of Henry Bugs Brown, which was published in 1849. He also had a second uh, book written about him, and he had some kind of an article written in Britain when he was there with his wife doing shows and stuff. Frederick Douglass was upset with the fact that Henry revealed the detail of his escape because others could have used it to do the same, but some of the people abolitionists believed that it was a good thing that he actually revealed the details on how he escaped. Brown was contacted by the, the new owner of his family, the people who basically bought his kids and his wife, and offered to sell them back to him. However. I know for some reason Henry Bugs Brown decided to decline. And it was a really big blow to the abolitionist community because why didn't he buy buy his family back? But well, we ne we will never know about that. Henry Bugs Brown was the symbol of the Underground Railroad freedom movement. He was the person who was courageous and took a creative chance for his own freedom. In other in order to survive the free world, Henry had to reinvent himself, and that courage is not always given. By being creative, Henry became a magician and kept the original box as a part of his act. He also got remarried, and while um, there was a lot that passed during this time where he could actually have been returned to Virginia since he was an escaped slave, that's why he ended up in England. and. He yeah, became a magician, had a wife, and they returned to America later on, and, well, he died. Thank you for listening. Um, have a good night.